Hello everybody, welcome back. This will be an update to another Project Pan. I am late on this Project Pan. This Project Pan started September 9th. I had the first five of the nine items and I struggled way too hard to pick four more. Because I had all the shows, but I didn't have products that I thought represented the shows. I watch a lot of the animated shows on Netflix. This is the project nine by Netflix created by my homegirl Elise. So I was definitely doing this. I love Netflix. Netflix. I've been with Netflix almost 20 years now. I started with the DVDs and then we moved into streaming. I still do DVDs and I have streaming. But I'm finally here, so we will at least start October 9th. So I this will run through January 9th of 2020. So I will have, what, three months. And these aren't hard items. This is going to be a very fun, light project for me. So I'm very, very excited about this. All right, so the first show and first item that popped into my head was for the Harvey Street Kids. They've changed the name in the second season. It's now Harvey Girls Forever, and it's a trio of best friends. There's Audrey, Lotta, and Dot. So I have the Body Fantasies Trio. I received this for Christmas. They don't tell me when, but a couple years ago. Some little girls bought it for me. But it has three cents, so I want to use every last one of these cents. They are each 1.7 fluid ounces, so that won't be too difficult. There's Japanese Cherry Blossom, Pink Vanilla Kiss Fantasy, and Twilight Mist. Um... So the two on the end kind of sound like their version of something that Bath and Body Works created. Because Bath and Body Works does have a Japanese cherry blossom. They have a Twilight Woods, Twilight Night, Twilight something instead of the mist. And Pink Vanilla Kiss Fantasy. I don't really know, but I am excited to try all three of those scents. So that's the first one. The second one is for Disenchantment, which is a the second part of well they go in part ones, part twos now. Second part has been released. It came out September 20th on Netflix. And it was created by Matt Groening, who created The Simpsons and Futurama. And their whole thing in the first season, well, the first part was the elixir of youth. And they were able to create it. And it brought back Bean's mom. And we find out Bean's mom is not all that she is cracked up to be. So I have a serum, which is like a youth elixir to help hydrate your skin maybe deal with any fine lines or discolorations this one is from skin nutritions it's their double strength retinal night repair serum it's for flawless younger perfect skin so i really like the serums from skin nutritions i think they are really great and they cost a dollar at dollar tree and this one is a brand new container so it will probably take me the three months to get this done because an ounce of serum usually takes me about three, three and a half months to use. Okay. From Agritsuko, it's an angry cat. She's just going through life and natural aggressions and she uses karaoke to vent her frustrations. So from J Cat Beauty, 
I have a set of their eyelashes. I've had these eyelashes forever. And it's time to try them, use them, see what I think about them. So then they can get out of my life. <laughs> so that's for that one. So for the show Nailed It, which is hosted by Nicole Bayer, who I really enjoy. I remember her on Girl Code. This is the BioBell Hashtag Unicorn Glow. It is their Perfect Radiance Sheet Mask. And I picked it because of the picture. Like, these are the types of things that they do on Nailed It to see. There's, you know, this will be the beautiful picture you see on the internet. And then someone will try to recreate it. And it's usually a fail if they don't have the skills or the time. To make it so I just thought that was cute and it very much fit for Big Mouth which is a show about preteens becoming teenagers going through puberty it's voiced by hilarious hilarious people I have the Sephora Shea lip mask I enjoy lip mask and it's all about mouths being a big mouth So that's for that one. It was l very literal. I saw somebody on Instagram put theirs up and I was like, so smart. I've never seen Boss Baby, the movie, but there is a, or the TV show because Netflix has it. Because I think it's through DreamWorks. So Netflix and DreamWorks usually have... I have some really nice collabs. I've watched other things from Dream DreamWorks and Netflix. But she chose Baby Wipes for Boss Baby, which is awesome. I would like to finish this package before it dries up. These are just the Huggy Simply Clean Baby Wipes. It's not a full package, but I do use these every once in a while, so this will push me that they're in the project that I need to use them. I use I usually use them to clean up any fallout before I go on with the rest of my face. If I can find who used the baby wipes, I will definitely put their name on the screen and a link in the description box. All right. For Veggie Tales, I love Veggie Tales. I've been watching Veggie Tales since 2002 when I saw them for the first time when I was in college. The college station would play movies. You could put in requests, and there was tons of Veggie Tales. There was at least a Veggie Tale movie every month, a new one. So I was into it. So I have the Bolero Blueberry Bliss sheet mask because of Miss Blueberry. There's actually a character on there. She is a blueberry because VeggieTales are all vegetables that can talk and have jobs. For Sugar Rush, this is some kind of baking competition show on there. I've never seen it, but it showed up down the list and I was like, that. But they bake all the sweet things. So I have a donut scented sheet mask. I don't know if it's pink. I don't know if there's donut. If it looks like a donut, we will find out when I use it. And if it's cool, I will definitely take a picture and put it up. But yes, it's a donut one. I'm excited. And then the last item is for Haters Back Off. It is a fictional character named Miranda who is a YouTube creator. And she wears bright red lipstick and her lipstick is never not smeared. <laughs> it's always, always smeared. And so I chose the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number one, always red. Yep. So it's super little. And what was I thinking putting another red in here when I am trying to use two more? It's little... It will give me the opportunity to try this, see if I actually like this. I will be doing a lot of red in the coming months, apparently. 
So I just thought that was really cool. All right. So that was my intro to Nine by Netflix. I am very excited about this project. And like I said, it will be a fairly low-key, easy... Like the red lipstick will be the one that probably gives me the fit. All right, I want to thank you guys for viewing. If you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. I want you guys to be safe, be well, peace. Ooh.